Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, <clears throat> welcome back to Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country. We are here in Oresco, taking care of side quests basically. And I believe we have, let's see, three more. Two that we've already taken and another one that you can see right next to the main gate here that we haven't taken yet. But that, that one can wait for a bit longer. <clears throat> Probably going to be clearing my throat a little bit. At least for the beginning of this video. Okay, waiting. We went and found your daughter. Does that change your uh, demeanor any? Bother me as much as you like. I'm not going to be changing my mind. Go home. Oh, well, I guess I'll just leave then. Lida, what on all rest? I heard you were worried about me, so here I am. How are you doing, Dad? Is everything all right? I, you, never better. All thanks to Kaida and these lovely people. This lot. I owe them my life, Dad. They helped me when I was in a tight spot. They picked me up and set me straight. You don't say. They told me the capital was in trouble. And I know how you always treat the buildings like you, you make like your children. So it must have been tough, huh? Seeing your children destroyed right in front of your eyes like that. You're not wrong, lass. Just remembering that day is... Well, let's just say I don't care to. Makes me want to strangle someone. Either that bastard has did it or me as couldn't do not about it. That's not true, Dad. There's plenty you can do. You can use your skills to help people. You can make it right. I'm so sorry I wasn't here when it happened. I should have been. It's okay, lass. So, for this shelter of yours, best way to go is to expand the inn's basement, I reckon. Just need the right materials. Wait, so does that mean you'll help? I'm not going to refuse the folks who saved my daughter's life. Thanks so much, Dad. Wow, quite a, the change of heart. People are truly splendid in their complexity. Hey everyone, Dad says we need to gather muscle branches, bismuth slabs, puzzle tree wood, and uh, deer wood and alloy sheeting. We need a certain amount of each. I'm sure we'll need lots of materials in order to build a nice strong shelter. Dad's going to go to the inn to plan the construction, so he said we should take the stuff we're there when we get it. Leave it to us. We'll find those materials in no time at all. I'll do as much as I can to lend a hand. For now, I'll ask around to see if there's anyone else who wants to help. Adam, I meant what I said before, but even so, I must thank you for helping my daughter. I'm doing this job because of the debt I owe you for that. Thank you all the same. I won't begrudge you your opinion of me. Thank you for your help, Waiton. All right, then. Okay, so this is another get a hundred points business. Um, okay, it's down, which means I have to go into the inn, go down to the basement. Which is what they said, but I was confused for a bit about why the marker was pointing me there. The marker up on the compass there. Okay. Let's see how we're doing. Support set. Lumber set. Walling set. Hmm. 11 points for that. Ooh, wow. 25 points for that. Wow, again. 40 points for that. 
Let's just give him more of this. That should do it. I'll get to work. Starting work, are you? This might cause a fair bit of disruption to your business, Fred. Don't worry about that, Waitin. You're doing us all a big favor. Just concentrate on your work. I'll hang a sign to let people know we'll be closed for a little while. That works. Cheers. I can lend a hand too, Dad. Putting the finishing touches. Opens, closes, it'll do right enough. Woohoo, way to go, Dad. So this is our shelter. This incredible, doriest door Morumo ever see. Cannot imagine a break ever. Would you like to test that? Feel free to give it a good old whack. That okay? How hard should Morumo hit it? Whoa, stop, stop, stop. It's not a toy. Feeling tired, Laura? Yeah, no. I'm just having a bit of a moment. It feels like there's been more downs than ups lately. I was starting to think there's no hope for us after all. But look, sometimes hope's not misplaced after all. All you have to do is keep it burning. Tornins are a hardy folk. They don't give up when it's dark. Sometimes they're all the stronger for it. So don't go feeling like the world's resting on your shoulders alone. We're here too, and we're more than capable. We not just defenseless little pups. We show spirit. We rally together and make difference. This shelter will take a weight off our minds. Now we can fight without fear of the worst case scenario. Excuse me, sorry to interrupt. <clears throat> yeah, clearing my throat again. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt, but Waitin would like to discuss the building of the next shelter. Already? We just got done with this one. No time like present. Gathering of funds is also an issue. There's so much to do. Jin, Hayes, have you got a mole? What's the matter? So this is just an idea, okay? I don't know if we'd be able to do it, but... When the war is over, why don't we build a house together? A house? I want to help people the way you've helped me. I've been mulling it over, but I just couldn't think of anything. Then I had a brainwave. It might be nice to build a house for war orphans somewhere that they can call home. Maybe I'm just being silly. I think that's a wonder I think that's wonderful, my lady. Indeed. That's a lot of people to take care of, though. It could get expensive. You're right. First we'd need money to build the house, then we'd have to find some way to support us all. But even if it doesn't work out, having something to strive for might help keep your spirits up. I think so too. Wouldn't it be nice to have a big family at last, Lady Laura? A big family. When you put it like that, I'm kind of impatient to make it happen now. Thanks, guys. I was convinced you were going to laugh at me. We would never laugh at your dreams, Laura. When all this is over, why don't we talk to Adam about it? He'd help us out for sure. Yeah, I plan to. So let's do our utmost to protect Torna and make it happen. And a sudden reminder. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack with the fact that the camera... Why, thanks. ...panned over to Minoth at that moment. A subtle bit of non-verbal storytelling there. Actually, not so subtle, but... In the end, it turns out it's all Amalthus's fault. He's the... He's basically, you know, the big bad in the base game. He's not the final boss, but he's really the villain. And Minoth there is, you know, one of Amalthus's blades. Even in the base game, he's still resonated with Amalthus, and he knows Amalthus pretty well. And then what happens between Jin and Hayes during the base game? Ah, that's that's a rough patch. Yeah, classic Greek tragedy. Here in all of its uh, hard to digest glory. Yeah, 
anyway. We got waiting. Never thought I'd see the day I get told off by my own daughter, but me and her, we've got our own path. Thanks for showing me that. Thank you. And we got Fred. The shelter we built in the basement of my inn should stand up to a pretty strong assault. You don't need to worry about this town. We'll protect it. Ugh. Just, man, this is rough. This is so rough. Who is this again? Journeyman Chef Malton. Hmm. Okay, we need to go talk to Jerry. That's what we do next. Assuming this is the end of the of the quest. Yep, here we go. Give me a shout next time something happens. Unbreakable talisman. So what? If we make one of those and put it in the pouch, it never goes away. Also, a motor chip and emergency guard three. See, the shelter was completed uneventfully, using the basement of the inn, bringing Laura newfound hope for the future of Torna. <sighs> That's the whole thing about this kind of tragedy. You know what's going to happen, and you can't do anything except just watch it unfold. Another thing for Hayes. I believe, though, that Hayes doesn't have any, uh, nodes that have, that say, make everything she can do. I think it was just make 10 items, or 15, here we go, used Hayes crafting skill 15 times. I just had to make 15 items, I didn't have to make everything she could make. Alright, I still need to do more chain attacks. Hmm. I have, there are a lot more chain attacks I need to do to get everyone finished. Oh, wait a second. Make every item that Hayes can craft. It does, it is on her affinity chart. Okay, I better craft that item I just got then. Increases damage dealt by the party by 50% when at max affinity. Huh. I didn't really take any time to look at Hayes' battle skills. But she has a party-wide damage buff. I didn't realize that. Huh. A party-wide damage buff. A party-wide damage reduction. And a party-wide resistance to debuffs. I mean, wow, I didn't stop to take a look at this, but that's pretty incredible. Huh. I should get Hayes' entire affinity chart filled out before the final battle. That is absolutely worth it. Although it'll take a little while to get these two. Three more chain attacks, and then ten blade combo finishers. Okay, so this is party-wide accuracy and evasion. Mm, only individual art and special recharge. And then personal critical hit rate. But wow, between Mithra and Hayes, we have party-wide accuracy and evasion buff party-wide def defense buff, party-wide resistance to debuffs, and then a party-wide damage dealing buff. This is... That's all really amazing, actually. I didn't stop to take a close look at this before. What else have we got? Okay, this is just a personal damage increase. Another personal damage increase and 
defense increase and then a personal critical damage increase hmm now Minoth we've got uh, a personal damage increase when battling a boss or unique enemy an aggro re a personal aggro reduction and another personal damage increase and then a personal damage increase a personal invasion increase and a personal another personal evasion increase and then a personal evasion increase another personal evasion increase and another personal evasion increase Hmm. So, Hayes and Mithra are basically the party-wide buffers, and everyone else is just, you know, an individual, either damage dealer or evasion tank. Let's go talk to that Orion guy who wants to uh, murder Geo. Sorry, Geo, you've been a big help, but uh, now we got to cast you off. Oh, look, it's the uh, it's our friends here. I was kind of hoping they go back to Gormont, maybe get spared the uh, disaster at the end. <laughs> sob, sob. Dad said he didn't want my help. He's not saying it to be mean, I know, but it still hurts. I want to tell him how I'm feeling, I really do, but I just sort of clam up whenever Kate is around. Well, why is this all so hard? I don't know what to do anymore. I swear, if Lida balls her eyes out for much longer, she'll end up suffering from dehydration. I think she understood her father perfectly well, but she still whines and moans about how unfair it is. I almost want to burst into tears myself the way she's acting. Still, I'm dragging her out of here at the first sign of trouble by force if I have to. I promised wait and I would. Should anything happen, I think we'll make for Araya next. Of course, I pray with all my heart that nothing will happen, but it pays to be cautious. Yeah. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. You know, for all that she gets snarky and uh, growly herself, Kaida is, uh, you know, a decent sort. Wouldn't want to be friends with her, but uh, you wouldn't mind this having her healthy? around to plan for the future. You know, plan your group's next move or whatever. Anyway, Jerry, we have news for you. Good day, mates. Any leads? Well, yes, but I think there's been some kind of mistake. A mistake? Wait, don't tell me the culprit's someone you know. Out with it. I want to know who did it. Tell me right now or so help me. Look, just chill out. The name we got was Geo the Handyman. You must know him too. Geo? Oh, but he didn't kill your sister. Actually, it was the op. Bloody hell. Hold on! I'm sorry it fell to you to break the news. I don't care. I don't care, and you shouldn't either. If I hadn't stepped up, I'm pretty sure Jin would have cut the guy's head off. What idiotic fly to fancy is that? Come on now, that kind of attitude won't do, Jen. You're right. Apologies. Let's stop squabbling and get to Geo's place, quick. Right, so where are we going now? Oh, it's not on the compass, because it's not the active quest. The four mine shopping ward, okay. I figured it was probably around where we met him, but... Here we go. 
I hoped you'd be quaking in your boots, but you're as calm as can be, ain't you? You really are a merciless killer. Think what you like. I've just been waiting for this day to come for a long time. I'm ready to face it. Tell me you did it. I want to hear you say you killed her. As good as, if it wasn't for my reckless ambitions, she'd still be here. Why did I think I'd be able to be... Why did I think we'd be able to be together? It was unbearably naive in retrospect. She... She used to talk about how there was someone she wanted to support. Someone with a dream of a better life. It's all ancient history now. Just get it over with. I won't stop you. I deserve it. Everyone else who was involved is dead and gone. Just me left. Kill me now. Put an end to it. You'll get your revenge and maybe the architect will accept my attempts at atonement. Prepare yourself. Stop! Are you kidding me? Uh, am I going to have to fight one of them? Or is this just talking them down? Hmm. Okay, he didn't kill her. His former colleagues killed her. And he did what he could, but it wasn't enough, so... Uh, I mean, I'm not going to fault Jerry for how he feels here, but... I mean, Gio is not the murderer who killed his sister. So... It's not right. We have to stop Jerry. Don't even think of getting in my way. I've waited too long for this. And here I thought we were being I'm gonna topple? Okay, they did. Just That's the way to do it. Smash heat. Smash heat. Okay, come on. Get level three. There we go. This seems like a bad place to have a fight, really. Agreed. Okay, um All right, so we didn't actually kill him. <laughs> Enough now. Look, guys, I appreciate the sentiment, but I deserve to die at this man's hand. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. No. It's just that my death is the only possible atonement for my sins. Atonement, he says. Is that why you've been giving people help without accepting anything in return? I'm not pretending I think it's enough. And you think dying would be? You really think that's what my sister would have... Okay, so now we've smacked some sense into him. Truth, mate, you don't want to die to make amends. You want to die so you can stop feeling so guilty. I don't give a rat's fart whether you live or die, but pissing on what she would have wanted. I can't forgive that. When you stop feeling sorry for yourself, come find me and we'll discuss our strategy. Strategy? For what? For wiping the bloody lobsters out once and for all, mate. You and me. This thing won't be done until we do. I'm not up to much on my own. Okay, I was about to say that sounded unusually self-deprecating, but what he's... Um... Okay, looks like my first thought was correct. 
I was gonna say that sounded unusually self-deprecating but it appears to be what he's actually saying is he has some free time and Gio can come talk to him whenever but no he actually was saying he's not good enough to do it on his own he gave us a pretty good fight I mean he didn't have any chance of actually winning against us but he was tough and had some really good moves Then again, if Geo really is what his hidden reputation seems to suggest, then yeah, he could probably do well to lend a hand. Anyway, I'm not up to much on my own, but if you find yourself with some free time, I could use an extra pair of hands. You're off your rocker. You're... wait, you're serious? Huh. What are you lot doing there? Has Brawly fight ceased? Marumo well, very worried, so it came as fast as possible. What happened? Uh, it's kind of a lot to explain. I'm sorry if we caused any concern. Everything seems to be in order now. Changing the past, eh? Easier said than done. In the end, I wonder if we're all just victims of fate. Tell me, Minoth. Does that serene outlook have anything to do with your transformation into a flesh eater? Not like you to be so direct, thinking of giving it a go yourself. I'm merely interested, as one blade to another. Well, drop it. You don't want to end up like me, a lousy mongrel. Is that truly how you feel? You can't claim to speak for everyone. At least it must be different when one goes into it of one's own accord. What are you saying? If you think of yourself as a mongrel, that's how people will see you. You should try looking on the bright side. Always with that positivity, Adam. Eh, you can see how in the future, Pyra and Mithra thought that Rex reminded them a lot of Adam. <laughs> positivity all the time. If you want things to go well, you have to visualize it first. Give me strength. I swear being around you lot is going to drive me around the bend. Okay, we got two more people. I am honored. I feel like a bloody great weight's been lifted from my heart, mates. Before I was living for revenge, but now I have a new purpose, crushing the lobsters. Yeah, that's not revenge, is it? <laughs> uh, and they're still around in 500 years, as Percival's Blade Quest shows us. Eh, then again, it might be a different group. I mean, 500 years is a long time for any group to continue on. Maybe sometime in the... Maybe Jerry and Geo do succeed in taking them out. But then sometime in the future, a new band of assassins hears the name of the old one and thinks, Oh, that sounds real cool. And so they take the same name for themselves. Eh, could be. Well, Jerry really awkward. reminds me of his sister, Bridget. She had a real fiery streak. I'm going to keep helping people out and maybe it'll make up for the past. Alright then. Hmm. I wonder how I get the rest of these folks into the community. I mean, I'll wager that this journeyman chef is connected to this lady's side quest. And what about all the rest of these guys? Hmm. What about Cheerful Adventurer Mini here? Hmm. Mac Mac, I've talked to her several times now. And it looks like I need to get the next community level before I can finally get that quest done. 
on the other hand, maybe if I just get all the available side quests done, that'll be good enough. I think we've done what's expected of us. Hustle Marinade. I wonder whose that is. Geo confessed his guilty past and was ready to die, but Jerry instead asked him to end the bloody lobsters for good as a means of atonement. Okay, it's a recipe for a GM. Turns out Jerry was deadly serious about wiping out the bloody lobsters. I tried to tell him that I'm done with all that, besides it's literally suicidal. But he just responded by giving me this 12-step fitness regimen and telling me to shape up. He's a scary bloke. If it's all some kind of joke, it's not funny. If he's serious, well, there are better ways to do things. Does he really expect me to atone for my crimes this way? Ask him again for me, would you? I'm just not buying it. Um, how come I have to be the go-between here? Okay, let's go ahead and have another chat with him. Oh, and let's also ask Waiting about Lyda. Me and Lyda had a fight, first one I can remember. She insisted on staying in Torna to help out, but I told her straight, we don't need her. I know my place is here, Torna's where I belong. But there's no reason for that girl to get herself any more mixed up in our business here. She's got her own goals, said she wants to be a driver like Laura. Well, that's fine by me. But she won't get there staying here. It's time for her to get out there, see the world. Makes sense. And darn it, it would keep her away from Torna so that the end game doesn't have her getting blown up. Hey, Jerry. Geo asked me to ask you a question. Look, I know getting revenge isn't going to solve nothing. I spent a year hunting this guy down only to find him a shadow of his former self. Took the wind right out of my sails. Can't exactly kill him now, can I? That'd be a lousy thing to do. But I need somewhere to direct all this pent-up frustration, else it's going to bust right out of my chest. I'll start by making sure this sad excuse for a man turns his bloody life around. All this self-flagellation and meaningless sacrifice business pisses me right off, miserable turd. Stop eating shitty food and feeling sorry for yourself. A healthy spirit can only live in a healthy body and all that. If my sister were alive today, that's what she'd want. Neither of us suffers fools, I tell you what. Yeah, fair enough, I suppose. Right, let's get out to the campfire and do some crafting. Let's see, that should be Aegean's final recipe. That was a nice change of pace. And Mithra got something All right, remind me why we're here again? And Hayes got something new also. This one I'm quite proud of. Okay, I can make it, and I have tons of stuff to make it with. I've made it with love. Specials recharge. Minus physical damage taken, minus ether damage taken. Nope. Specials recharge does make that a decent uh, item. Let's see. Now a Gian. Allow me to demonstrate my skill. Creeping star peppers. I'm glad I gathered a whole bunch of those. Does it suit your tastes? Let's see. Also specials recharge. Plus HP recovery and plus damage dealt by specials. Eh. I mean, that's a pretty low number for specials recharge, but... Eh. Put that in addition to some arts recharge, and that would be, uh, you know, decent. Okay. I'm a little nervous, to tell you the truth. I make me more of his stuff. Okay, there's those two. Okay, just those two. All right. Oh man, I need. I have enough sun cogs, but it's going to use up eleven of them. I'm gonna only, only going to have four left. Success. Max pouch items raised by 10. Oh yeah, that's worth it. Success. 
Definitely worth it. Okay, Time Adam, what to about roll you? up the old sleeves. Oh, blast it. And it's the sun cogs. And geometric gears. Okay. Hmm. I know where to get sun cogs, but geometric gears I'm not too sure about. Terrific. Alright, let's see about Mithra's Time new Time to item. get cooking. I'm kind of excited. Oh, I can't do it. I have no moonbeam bananas. Those are found in Gormon. I'm pretty sure. Arps recharge 0.3 and special recharge. Now that is a good item. I think all the other arts recharge items I've got are just point two. Oh, that would definitely be worth it. Get some more nest extract so I don't run out too quickly. And then start farming moonbeam bananas. Yeah, that is a good item. Also plus damage dealt by specials. But it's the Arts Recharge and Specials Recharge that really makes that good. Oh, yeah. Also, I gotta make one of these. Ugh. I just need one more Barb Tomato. That's also found in Gormod. Hmm. Well, I need Moonbeam Bananas and Barbed Tomatoes. Actually, I only need one bar tomato, but I need a lot more moonbeam bananas. Time to roll up the old sleeve. And I need sun cogs. I know where to find those. And geometric gears. I don't know where to find those. Shoot. Okay, Hayes got that. Aegean got that. I've improved measurably. I cannot disregard my support duties either. All right. Fifteen more chain attacks. Wow. But that's all he needs. Okay, seven more chain attacks for Bridget. Make every item Mithra can craft. Twelve of fifteen. Okay, there's at least two more items. There's two more items currently on her list that I haven't done yet. But then that means there's still one more recipe that I haven't even found. Well, let's at least get some more sun cogs. I know exactly where to go for those. Whoosh. Well, shall we continue? This takes me back. Okay. That should be enough. I think I only needed one more. And I definitely got at least two there. Alright, now the problem is, I know where to get barbed tomatoes, but I don't know where to get moonbeam bananas. Voyage. Right. Where shall we head to next? Seems like it's always raining when I come here. 
This takes me back. I'm something of an expert. Let's see, are there any more gather points back here? Nope. Oh, look at this. Ah, my favorite. Something's spot. buried down here. Don't have to tell me twice. A level two chest. Could have gotten this earlier if I'd known it was here. You're mine now. Affinity Max Attack 2. Well, that's no better than I've already got, but uh, yeah, having a few more can only be helpful. What do we got here? Nature makes a fine ally. So yeah, the barbed tomatoes are definitely here in Torgoth somewhere. This takes me back. Nature makes a fine ally. Okay, that's at least one. Yeah, that's one barbed tomato, and that should be all I need. That should be all I need. Now I just need to find Moonbeam Bananas. Easier said than done. This takes me back. I'm something of an expert. What have we got here? Nature makes a fine ally. None there. Seems like it's always raining when I skip travel here. Yeah, thematically appropriate, I'll admit. What, I'm something what, of an with, expert. what with the tragedy that happened here, but still. This takes me back. Nature makes a fine ally. This takes me back. Nature makes a fine ally. Mm. No moonbeam bananas. What about here? What have we got here? Nature makes a fine ally. Nope. Hmm. Okay, let's try skip traveling. The campsite, just outside of town. What a pleasant stroll. Right. Where shall we head to next? Changes the weather. This takes me back. Listen to the sound of my voice. Whoa. Boy, that kind of startled me. What have we got here? Listen to the sound of my voice. Just fish gather points. This takes me back. Listen to the sound of my voice. Maybe if I range a bit further out. Bugs. This takes me back. I know the drill. Flowers. What do we got here? Nature hmm. makes a fine ally. This takes me back. I know the drill. Rocks. Huh? What do we got here? Bit high level for these guys, so not gonna react. Ah, insects this takes again. Me back. I know the drill. Mm. Maybe out in the field rather than here in the. Oh, I 
Ether Miasma. The ether bends as I will it. Light has some unexpected uses, too. This takes me back. Okay. And a treasure trove. Ah, my favorite part. Just a bit of money. Huh. All right. So perhaps this down here. Nope. This is a tree collection. This point. takes me back. I'm something of an expert. This takes me back. I'm something of an expert. Let's see. Maybe over at uh, Lido Oasis, whatever it's called in this era. This takes me back. I know the drill. I do remember there's a gather point right outside of Lasham Cove. It's even the type of gather point I'm looking for. If I don't find another one soon, I'll just head out to it. Travel over to Lasham Cove. That was a nice change of pace. All right, remind me why we're here again. Oh, wait a second. I can just talk to him and get him into the community. That should have shown up on the community chart. Huh. And now suddenly it is showing up in the community chart. It's weird. Okay, well. I finally heard from Lida and Kada. You've been helping them out loads, huh? So have I. I think they've been listening to my advice, too. But they seem to have a deeper bond with you. Do you think you could chat sometimes, too? Oh yeah, I haven't introduced myself, have I? The name's Minnie. I want to be a teacher someday. Nice to meet you. You have my thanks. Isn't Lida awesome? She's kind of become my role model. I think I'll swing by Torna on my way to Uriah and pay her a visit. Uh, don't stay too long. Okay. Monster Granny Martha in Hyrule Village. The Nopon Half Sage in the Cavern of the Seal. Okay. What have we got here? Nature makes a fine ally. No moonbeam bananas. Darn it. Can we get any down here, perhaps? Nature makes a fine ally. No 
rare or legendary items. Uh, I'm starting to feel like I should just look this up. There is a treasure trove up there. Have I gotten that one? Gather point is this. Ah. The wrong kind, that's what. What have we got here? <sighs> right in my way, might as well pick it up. This takes me back. I know the drill. Seeing the level 30 monsters now. This takes me back. Nature makes a fine ally. No wonder I hadn't been up to get this treasure trove yet. You're mine now. Perhaps I'll have another. Is that another one? Huh? Come on. I was actually a little bit worried about whether or not the game would let me jump into the cloud sea. Ah, my favorite part. Blow down resist one. Pretty outdated at this point. Where else? This isn't working. Pleasant stroll. I'm not sure where else right. I could go. Where shall we head to next? What have we got here? Nature makes a fine ally. I mean, thanks for the creeping star peppers. What have we got here? I really need mood music. while since I've been in here. This takes me back. Listen to the sound of my voice. I'm something of an expert. It would appear that no, I have not been back here before. Ah, my favorite part. Scale chips and a bit of gold. And some level 15-ish bunnets. Well, this didn't help. Hmm. Okay. 
Let's go to the hidden hunting camp. Well, shall we continue? Let's see what we can see around here. I want to rest now. Oh, look at this. I don't believe I've got gathered anything from here before. What do we got here? Alright, I can make a tiger winged helmet. Increases battle experience by ten. I think it turned out rather well. Still don't have any geometric gears, however. Blast it. Okay, so I need to figure out where to find geometric gears. This. And you need to find out where to find moonbeam bananas for this. And they're common items. They're common. I thought they were rare, but they're not. Huh. Okay, I'll have to look that up. She can make a spicy scorpion cookie. Let's get that out of the way. Hmm. Maybe I missed a step? Okay, I just need to find a bunch of moonbeam bananas. Maybe get some more nest extract. I This looks like a really great item. I want to make tons of it. Okay, I have 14 items on her list, but her affinity chart says she needs to make 15 items. So that means there's at least one more side quest that has an item for her. Okay, so I need Moonbeam Bananas, to roll up the old and I need Geometric Gears. Okay. Well, viewers, I'm starting to get kind of frustrated by this, so I'm just going to uh, end the video here. So, thanks for watching Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country. In the next episode, I'll finally have this business with the uh, Moonbeam Bananas and etc. settled. I'll know where to go to get them. And then we'll uh, carry on with the side content, I suppose. There's one more side quest that's on our list. And after that, I'm not too sure, but uh, we can at least get that done in the next episode. So, see you then.